Well, hey everybody, and welcome to 2015. Some tips on social media, and the first one I'm going to talk about is standing out on LinkedIn with your what they're calling the hero image. If you're not familiar with the hero image, you have seen it's pretty new, and you've seen the background. Here's mine, and basically, it's not doing some of the things I'm going to tell you to do. But the hero image is behind your profile. There's the size, 1400 by 425. It is high resolution. If it's too, it, more than four megabytes, they won't let you upload it. Don't make it too much less than that because it will be grainy. So you want to make sure that you have a good graphics guy to do this for you, or if you do it yourself in PowerPoint or Canva, just make sure it's a high enough resolution. So my tip today is how do we use this image to help people understand what you do that's what you want to use it for it's the same with your profile on LinkedIn you want to help people understand what you do use your hero image for that as well if you want to drive connections include a connect with me call to action if you want to showcase your position and expertise add that if you want to make sure uh, but make sure to include your logo and contact information and do make it eye-catching here's an example Mike O'Neill I found his image his his hero image you can see it just fills up the whole image he has no text on it it's just a graphic but he looks like he's speaking at a very very large stadium and sure enough he's a dynamic speaker the next one is you could share your miss it mission Elena visually um, she reinforced her mission and her vision strengths um, and position so that our current customers and prospective customers can see that Greg promoted a an event that he has coming up. That's a great way to put that on the hero image and the event you might have. And then, of course, you can see he has a .com, how to find out about that event. Uh, we have another example. We provide You can provide value. This uh, Vivica has a tip, a LinkedIn tip of the week. Now, of course, you'd have to go in and change this banner and be committed, almost like your newsletter, to change this up. Uh, every week if that's what you're going to do and then this one is just all about the design very eye-catching um, very un LinkedIn like but very very eye-catching so focus on the design this is just some tips on how to use that hero image um, I'm going to take you over to mine on LinkedIn and again I haven't even done this myself I need to get in there my hero image is too grainy I need to get my graphics guy we need to go in and edit this background and and uh, drink my own kool-aid over here but you can see you'll know if you have the uh, space because this will all be blue and you just click on the edit background and it'll let you change the image and save the image okay so that is your tip for now please do make sure that you so that's your tip. Make sure to go in and change up that image. That's some fabulous real estate for you to use on LinkedIn. And if you're not using it, you're selling yourself short. If you like what you learned in 2015, we still have our insider program going on three years now. It's a monthly webinar private for our insiders. It's always relevant social media content. And we also have a group on Facebook where we support each other so see you this year look for our tips every week and that's how to get a hold of me sroth at shellyroth.com if you'd like more information have a great weekend